United States Army basic training, where civilians become soldiers. Yes, the Army still has drill sergeants who will transition you from a civilian into a soldier during your basic training. Yes, the training is physically rigorous and mentally challenging. And yes, if you were a male, you still have to get your hair cut. But today, the emphasis of basic training is on building enthusiasm, confidence, teamwork, and introducing the Army's values and warrior ethos. Today's basic training is actually referred to as initial entry training, which consists of either basic combat training and advanced individual training, or one station unit training. When you arrive at your initial entry training location, you will spend approximately three to four days in a reception battalion. Much of the time here will involve filling out the paperwork that will follow you throughout your Army career. You will also get vaccinations, receive uniforms, get your identification tags, identification card, and you will get a medical examination. When you're done with this initial processing, you will meet your drill sergeant, the person who will guide your training for the next nine weeks. Basic training is divided into three phases. Red phase, white phase, and blue phase. During the red phase, weeks one through three, you will go on an overnight field training exercise. You will be instructed on first aid, radio communication, map reading, and military law. You will be introduced to drill and ceremony and the M16 series rifle. You will also go through your first confidence course where you will repel from a 30-foot tower. You will be taught how to protect yourself from a biological or chemical attack and how to use a bayonet. During the white phase, weeks four through six, you will go on a two-day field training exercise. You will practice and qualify with your M16 rifle. The Army has computerized training aids and other high-tech training devices to help you shoot accurately. You will also become familiar with other U.S. weapons like the M249 machine gun, the grenade launcher, and the light shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon. You will have a class on Claymore anti-personnel mines. After sufficient practice, you will throw live hand grenades and may qualify for another badge on the grenade range. You will also receive instruction in hand-to-hand -hand combat and train with pugil sticks. During the blue phase, weeks seven through nine, your platoon will go through a challenging confidence obstacle course. You will learn individual tactical movements and how to move and cover other members of your team as they move. You will go through a night infiltration course where machine guns will fire over your head and explosions will go off nearby. On this range and all training areas, safety is the primary consideration. Prior to graduation, your platoon will go on a seven day field training exercise that begins with a 10 kilometer road march carrying your equipment. During the exercise, you will be tested on the warrior skills you have learned you will conduct urban operational training. And you will participate in a convoy live fire exercise. During basic training, your drill sergeant will teach the seven army values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. You will be expected to live them every day. Throughout basic training, you will do physical training every day, alternating between muscle strengthening exercises and cardiorespiratory training. You will be required to pass the Army physical fitness test prior to graduation. Religious services are available for you to attend, and you will have personal time. You will clean your weapon often and have frequent inspections. Toward the end of your basic training, the hard work you have done and the many values and skills you have learned and accomplished will fill you with pride on graduation. Your transition from civilian to soldier is complete.
your parents, relatives, and friends are invited to your graduation. To see firsthand that you have earned one of the most respected titles in the world, a soldier in the United States Army. And I know you wouldn't want it any other way. Oh,